Automate your browser with GenSpark AI. I just discovered how to completely automate your browser with GenSpark AI. And what I'm about to show you will completely transform how you will work online and use the internet forever. This isn't just another browser. It's like having a personal assistant built directly into every single web page you visit. On top of that, you can learn how to turn your entire Twitter feed into a professional podcast. Like you can see the secret method to extract full transcripts from YouTube and create PowerPoint presentations from any YouTube video. And on top of that, why this browser automatically finds you the best deals across the internet and how that can save you thousands. GenSpark have just released their new browser and this is very impressive indeed. So you can see, for example, I've actually logged into Twitter on GenSpark X, whatever you want to call it. And if we go directly on here, what I've actually done is on the right hand side, I've clicked on the GenSpark, so ask GenSpark. And this is not Google Chrome or anything like that. It's basically a competitor to Google Chrome. And I've said to the AI, summarize my feed and make a podcast out of it. And essentially what you can see here is on the right hand side, GenSpark has actually gone off and done its magic and then not just summarized my feed, which is great, but also generated a full podcast with 11 labs so we can download using all the information from my Twitter feed, right? So it's condensed all the information and turned it into something interesting. Let's have a little play back now. Today we're covering incredible developments in AI, business and content creation happening right now. Let's start with the big hiring news. Google DeepMind is actively recruiting AI developer product managers. Logan Kilpatrick. By the way, if you're wondering, okay, where did that come from? So that's literally this post right here. So the tweet from Logan Kilpatrick, who's lead product for Google, his news has been turned into a podcast on 11 labs automatically with GenSpark. And literally all we said was summarize my feed and make a podcast out of it. Now there's a million other things you can do, but you can see the power of it. Let me show you another example. So for example, if we go over to YouTube here and we'll navigate to my channel and then we're going to take an example video. So let's click on this one. I'm just going to mute it. And then if we click on here, this is crazy stuff. So if you click on here, what you can actually see on the right hand side is we can do multiple different things with GenSpark directly. So inside this GenSpark browser that you can download, you could, for example, say summarize video content. And on the right hand side, it's going to pop up with the summary of video content right there. Also, if we said, okay, extract the transcript or auto generate slides, what it would actually do with the auto generate slides section, it would turn the video into a PowerPoint presentation automatically. And if we wait for this to load, you can see it's now taking the information from the video, summarizing it. It's even got the key timestamps right there. It's basically turned a YouTube video into a custom AI agent that you can ask any questions directly to. So you can see the timestamps here. It talks about the key cost comparisons, the second challenge. And by the way, if you look at the actual sources on the right hand side, you can actually click on where it's referenced this information. And then for example, we could say, okay, extract the transcript now. It will start a new chat and start extracting the transcript from the video. And this is before I've even logged into YouTube. It's just doing that without even logging in, which is crazy. So you can basically turn any YouTube video into a blog post with timestamps. You can extract information super quickly and see all the key information and just get the 80, 20 of it without even watching this. Right. And then you can actually click on download the transcript and that'll give you the transcript ready to download right there. Now, also, if we go on to auto generate slides or ask GenSpark. We can auto generate some PowerPoint slides, but we can also click on ask GenSpark here. And then inside here, we can ask any questions that we have, right? So for example, if this is a video about chat GPT versus so three versus call four, whatever. So if you go inside here and we'll say, okay, who won? I just wanna, I don't wanna watch a 16 minute video about this. I just wanna know who won, who was the best. So let's have a look and it will start understanding the video and looking at the video. If we click on this task, you can see what it's doing and how it's doing it, right? So it's looking through the transcript. And then it actually gives us a breakdown round by round of who won. Breaks down the challenges, the process, etc. And then it says, right, ChatGPT got two wins, Claude Opus got one win, and Gemini got zero wins. So 
ChatGPT03 as the overall winner, right? Save yourself 16 minutes of watching a Julian Goldie SEO video. So it's pretty wild what you could do with this, very powerful and incredibly easy to use. It just feels like Google Chrome, to be honest with you. Like even if I use the same tab, a shortcut. So for example, if I press Command and T, that's gonna open up a new tab. But the beautiful thing about this is, Unlike Chrome, it's going to go straight to GenSpark automatically. And then we could even click on the call for me and it will actually make an outbound call for us once we've registered our number, right? So it has this phone assistant and you've basically got an auto dialer on any new tab using this process right here. It's, it's absolutely amazing. What we can also do is, let's have a look here. So if we go on to, let's say we go on to, I want to see if this works. So if we go to Amazon, I'm just going to click on a random product, right? So it pulls in the information from the page and then it's high there. What can I help with? And you'll see on the right hand side here, the GenSpark super agent breakdown, right? And it says smart AI tools for everything you do on the web. Now from here, what you can actually do is you can find the best deal, compare similar products, see what others say and ask GenSpark directly. So you can again, turn this page into a custom GPT where you ask any questions. So if we click on find the best deal here, it's going to take the information about the product and then price search across the web for us to find us the best deal. By the way, if you want all of the video notes from today, all the links, etc., plus a bunch of useful resources on GenSpark and AI Super Agents, a cheat sheet that actually guides you through exactly what we're talking about today, feel free to get this inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments and description runs you through all the different ways that you can use this, all the different MCPs, etc. as well. It's actually got 700 MCPs built into GenSpark directly, and you can do all of this inside the browser. You can download the, the browser at genspark.ai if you want to get access, and you can see here it's available for Mac currently. It's coming soon to Windows. It's not available on Windows yet, and I don't think it's available on mobile yet, but I'm sure that's coming. And... I've also included a full SAP and step-by-step -step breakdown for free inside the AI Success Lab if you want to get access to this stuff. So let's go back to the price comparison. So literally all we said was find best deal and then it went off and it came up with a bunch of candidate matching results and also gave us some example prices, compared them, etc. And then it's looking through all these different websites, comparing the price. So for example, eBay is looking at Walmart, what else we got? Shane, I don't know if I pronounce that, but you get the point. Like basically it's very easy to just compare all the models across the web and then figure out, okay, what can we improve? I'm pretty sure you could use this as like a copywriting assistant or a digital marketing assistant. So if we go to my website, the airprofitboardroom.com, right? And we pull in the information from this page. I wanna say, okay, give me five new headlines that would help attract attention better, something like that, right? And then now what it's gonna do is gonna take the content from the page, it's already got the context of the website and it starts generating the responses, right? So for example, from 60 hours a week, warning, blah, 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 copy my exact AI money machine, pretty good to go, right? Now, I don't know if it can actually interact with the page, but I assume it can. We'll come onto this video in a second. So let's try this out now. If we go on to, let's see what we can do here. So if we, for example, go on to GenSpark, and I'm gonna say, right, find a chess game and play it for me. I don't know if it's gonna be able to interact with our browser directly, I would hope so, but let's see what we get back in a sec. All right, so it's found Lie Chess. All right, and then I'm gonna ask GenSpark to play this for me. Yeah, it doesn't have the capability to directly interact with or control the chess game. So that is a limitation of it. I would have to play chess myself. I can't just get the AI to go off and do it. So it is a limitation for sure. I actually think a better way to do this is you can use Nano Browser. So if we go onto Google Chrome, for example, we can actually use Nano Browser. Let's pull this up. And this should be able to play chess for us. So for example, if we go back to this chess website, and then I'm gonna say, right, play chess for me. I'm just gonna start a new 
page first. So we'll create a game and we'll see if this can play for me. To be fair, neither, neither of these can actually work, which is not great. Yeah, so I think that's a limitation of these browsers right now. But if we go back to GenSpark now, we'll close that. What we're going to do from here is we're going to... Now I'm going to show you something interesting as well. So, for example, if we go on to... Let's have a look here. The Daily Mail, something like that, right? Like a common newspaper, right? If we actually click on the top right over here, you're going to see that actually tracks and blocks a lot of ads, right? Not that I read the Daily Mail, but I just want to show you an example of like how this works. So it can basically block ads, it can block tracking as well, so it's good for privacy too. And also, you do want to be careful what you plug in here, so be careful with putting your password details and that sort of thing. Don't share anything you don't want to share. But if we go onto a new tab as well, and then we'll put testing here, what you're actually going to see is it doesn't even use Google as the main search. So it actually uses Brave Search, which is very similar, but it's more of a privacy-based searcher. And you can see that it comes up with different responses here. But the difference here is like you won't see any ads inside Brave Search, which is pretty cool as well. So not only does it block ads on the main website, but also it blocks ads by using Brave Search as a default searcher, which means that you skip all the Google problems that you typically get when it comes to getting traffic. All right, now let's play this demo as well. So this is the demo from GenSpark and how it works. Hey, I'm very excited to introduce GenSpark AI browser, GenSpark Super Agent. So if we skip through this, you can see an example, it can actually create some AI slides based on a YouTube video. Beautifully feed. It could browse your personal feed. So it can like, you can say, check my ex account, read my feed, summarize the stuff. You can block ads. And also you have this MCP, store right so if we go back to GenSpark now I'm going to go into GenSpark here directly and you can choose different tools right so you've got for example Gmail Calendar X Content Explorer and you can add new MCPs directly inside here now it's pretty wild how many different MCPs you can link so for example right now I've got Gmail linked I've got Calendar but there's so much more you can actually add to this for example you've got Playwright Browser Automation You've got X and Twitter, you've got a Reddit MCP, like all of these MCPs you can just install with one click, which is absolutely awesome because we've all been there on Visual Studio Code where it takes like 20 minutes to install an MCP and it takes ages. This is a lot faster. It's also got some password trackers in there as well, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, there seems to be so much you can do with this. So it's pretty much endless. Let me just have a look at some other use cases inside the AI Success Lab. So what would be quite interesting here is to see if it can actually fill out forms as well. So I'm just going to test that out. What we're going to do is we're going to go to this form here, which is form, as you can see. I'm going to go into GenSpark and see if it can actually fill out this form for me. So it can't actually fill out forms directly, but what it can do is it can draft responses, it can analyze the form, etc. So what you can actually do is ask it to answer all of these questions. And then you can just copy and paste directly into the form. That would probably be one of the easiest ways to do this. Now, the other thing you can do directly from here is you could also, for example, you could go inside here and you can say, okay, send an email to me at juliangolder.com telling him about GenSpark browser and how good it is. And what this should do is use the email tool to automatically draft stuff for you. You can see it's now generating the email draft and then once that's done it's going to draft the email body, the subject line etc and we'll get a choice between sending it or drafting it right so for example if we wait for this to load it's now creating like a nicely designed promotional email. You could probably even use this for cold email outreach to be honest if you were going for a more like sniper approach even links directly to the right place so it links to genspark.ai then we've got the full email drafted out like you can see and then we've got a choice we can send it or we can save it as draft right or you can edit it before you send it so if you click on this you can actually edit the email first before you send it right so you can see I can type inside there and then if we click on send here 
that's going to send the email and then if we go I don't know if this is going to work it should do yeah so you can see that actually opens up my emails and then if we go to me at juliangoldie.com open up the emails we'll open this up and you can see I've received the email from GenSpark pretty crazy right so it said this email was sent to juice, introduce you to GenSpark blah 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 you can see my typing right there and it automated the email ready to go right crazy stuff so if you want to get access to all the video notes from today the full SAP the cheat sheet as well the cheat sheet is super powerful because it breaks down exactly what you can do why it's different how to get it etc so you can get that inside the AI success lab link in the comments and description you can see a full breakdown here of the YouTube content process the autopilot mode you know how you can generate podcasts premium websites all this sort of stuff using GenSpark and its new browser. It's better than I expected it to be honest. I think the only thing missing from it right now is the fact that it can't control your browser. So it can't fill in forms for you. It can't, for example, scroll or interact with the page directly. I'm sure that's coming, but right now it's just not ready to go. But if you want to get all the video notes and the cheat sheet, plus all these resources, I've left links to them all inside the AI success lab, link in the comment description, along with a full SAP and demo prompts and you can get that directly. If you want to connect with me personally, if you want to get coaching support, help, if you want to get three coaching calls per week, like you can see, and if you want to join a community of winners who celebrate our wins and the challenges along the way, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. What we do actually each week, like you can see on this post, I actually got 49 comments, which is crazy. So each week you can post your questions and any automations you want to see, and then we'll actually build them for you live on a video along with all the links to the timestamp of the video, plus where to get the automations that we built for you. So feel free to get that link in the comments of the AI Profit Boardroom. And additionally, you can see inside the classroom here, we have exclusive content that you won't find anywhere else. You'll find the coaching calls and the Q&A call recordings right here. You won't find these anywhere else. And also all of these different agency workflows. So awesome stuff. Feel free to get that link in the comments description to the AI Profit Boardroom. And additionally, if you just want to get us to automate stuff for you, you can book in an AI strategy session, link in the, and on that call, we'll basically look at your business, analyze exactly what will save you the most time, and then show you exactly how to automate it. And if it makes sense for us to implement that for you, we're happy to do the work for you. So feel free to get that link in the description.